We left the blue beast here with no battery. And we even killed the battery from the Red Valiant last time we tried to start. I'm going to give it a quick try again. Probably going to spray the carb and or dump a bunch of gas down there. Because I suspect it's been sitting just long enough, obviously, for things to evaporate out of the lines. And uh, I'm not sure that the fuel pump has picked anything up yet. Uh, this is an electronic distributor, or at least a, whatever, a magnetic pickup. Uh, it doesn't have points. Um, last time trying to start it, <clears throat> under traditional conditions, I would have said, it's not getting spark. That's just what it felt like, but uh, I think it just hasn't picked up the fuel yet. I don't know what other failure modes happen to those uh, magnetic pickups. They probably just die. So hopefully that's not what we're looking at. I might actually have a spare set because I think I bought a spare set for one of the trunks, either this one or the red. So it might not be fatal if that were the case. I'm gonna go get the battery and then we'll uh, start from there. Hi there. Back in the Blue Valiant. I guess I talked you out there. We're back in the Blue Valiant. I put the battery in. That is the battery from here. I'm gonna say it's seven years old or so. I remember when I got it, it was a snowstorm. And I drove this thing like 30 kilometers in like heavy ass. It was insane. I'm surprised we made it. Throttle was coming back, which is good. I left it neutral because uh, we found that the neutral safety switch or whatever was only working in neutral and I can't get it to work in park anymore. That would be something in here or the position of the uh, column. It's it's just out of whack a bit or it's not getting into its groove. We'll see if it turns at all. Oh yeah. I think it's going to start. Oh, oh, fuck. Go. God damn it. Okay. It's a bad connection. I'll be right back. You see the lack of uh, any hit there kind of would lead me to believe that the electrical is not sparking uh, because in a sec I'll, I'll spray a bunch of uh, ether and it should fire if there's spark. Smells intoxicating. In fact, it is. That hit. So why not more than that? I don't get it.
This thing is laying on the fucking ground. I have to assume that the fuel pump is dead or clogged. Clogging the fuel line. So what I would normally do is take the uh, output of the fuel pump off, lean it off to the side, and uh, see if anything comes out of there. It's starting to get a little dark, and uh, well, it's still light out, but I don't know how many hours I have until uh, it's going to get dumb. Start trying to add battery power already. Yeah. Alright, that was a fuck ton of gas down there. <clears throat> Good. Still not getting gas. choke back on yeah gas you know coming although I can smell it good and proper no it's just me um yeah the pump or it's there's a clog either in the fuel line or the uh, fuel pump is dead it's possible for the fuel pump to be dead but I did replace it in this thing within the last six years no, eight years. It's possible. Um, you know, eventually the uh, ethanol and the gas and whatnot uh, wears away at the membrane in the pump there. But for some reason, I don't think, I think it's a clog. I don't think the pumps did. Starts good when it has gas. I am showing pretty much empty on the fuel here, but there is there is some. But I also have to assume that um, in all my little starts over the months and years, that uh, it might not have left much back there and it might also be clogged full of shit, so. It still wants to run. Well, that's too bad because I wanted to get this running and move it just across the driveway. So I can more easily get access to the rear tires and wheels. Take those off, get rollers on them, and then sell this bitch. Anyway, we're going to have to come out another day. But uh, fuel delivery is our problem. Talk soon. Bye.